Uh, I got up on, uh, I was up here last Friday, went home for a couple of uh, events, and then uh, came back on Tuesday. So I got a chance to see the prospects play for two games, and uh, and then yesterday's kind of a day to get ready and, uh, and relax and then get ready to go today. How special is this tradition to kick off camp with this golf outing every year? Well, it's great. You know, I think um, I've really enjoyed coming up to Traverse City. It's a, it's super special for me. Uh, my family, my parents, my two sisters live here, so it makes it even more uh, of, of a cool thing to be able to come up here. Um, but beyond that, it just it, we're able to reach so many Red Wing fans uh, outside of the Metro Detroit area, and obviously some of the people come up from Detroit, but it's some from the West Side, some from the UP. So it's a really cool thing. What's your favorite place to go in Traverse? Uh, to go to eat or yeah. just to go? Yeah, to go to Ooh. eat. Well, my cousin owns uh, owns a couple spots. So, uh, you know what? There's there's too many good ones that, to, to mention. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm up here in the summer a little bit as well. I, I've uh, I've been up here um, for the Cherry Festival this, this past year. So there's just a lot of good spots. Really enjoy it. What do you see from this team just in the early well, I think yeah, I think we have an understanding of what we have to do to be successful. We're gonna we're gonna have to defend great, better than we have, and, and it's a step, uh, I think, of maturity uh, for for our young forwards that they're ready to make, and it's also you know a step of uh, some of the young defensemen competing for jobs, and then and just making sure that's you know we we were able to sign a couple of free agents that are 200 foot players in Philadelphia and Nemeth, and uh, we think that they can help in that area. So I think there's an understanding of that. Now we got to go do it and, and you know this league's super tight every year team surprise people we want to be a team that surprises people uh so let's go to work tomorrow Well, it's certainly, you know, Nick's been a great, great player in the in the NHL for a long time. Uh, I thought a little bit over or uh, overshadowed and, and underrated, I'd say, um, just with the time that he spent with Lindstrom and how good a player Nick was, Nick Lindstrom was. But Croner's a, a heck of a player. He's been a, a, a real, real top defenseman for a long time. The last number of years, he had, he'd fought through injuries. I thought last year was the best year he'd had in a while. Um, but he's also a great teammate, great leader, great off the ice, great example and model for young players. I'm just thankful that a lot of our young players have been around and, and, and got to, to, to play with him and see how hard he practices every day and how hard he approaches things. So we're going to miss him. Um, but it also, you know, we'll, we'll have a leadership void. But it also gives, you, you know, other guys a, a chance to have a greater voice. And that's a positive, that can be a positive thing too. When and how soon and when do you guys announce a captain for this year? Um, you know what? We're we're right now. We're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with four assistants. Um, uh, Larks and, and Abby and Niels will remain assistants, and then we're gonna add Luke Lindenning to the mix. So, um, you know, we think that's a real good leadership uh, group, and so that, that's what we're gonna go with. Good way to do it, right? Everybody has a little responsibility, and it doesn't fall on the shoulders of one guy. Is that well? I think so. I, I think so, and, and you know, it also gives Steve. You know, Steve's new to the organization, and I, you know, with this group, obviously, he's a big part of the organization's past. But with this group, so him and I've talked lots about it. it gives him a chance. Uh, it gives him a chance to uh, get to know everybody a lot better, and make sure you know these are these are uh, real important decisions, and make sure that uh, he feels comfortable with them. What's it like having Steve just back in the hallway? Besides that change. Yeah, well, it's you know I think it's uh, I, I just feel real lucky. Uh, I've had a chance now to, to work for Ken Holland, who's a future Hall of Fame general manager, and now I get a chance to work for Steve, who is a Hall of Famer. And it's just you know when you get a chance to work for that, that type of hockey people, I think it's awesome. So um, you know Steve's not going to take any shortcuts to success. Uh, he's got a long-term approach, um, which is the only way you can. Uh, and and so I think that part of it's a, a good thing. And, and let's uh, we got to make sure that we're doing everything possible to to develop our young guys that are in Detroit and develop our young guys that aren't in Detroit. That's going to be a critical thing for our organization. I played yesterday. Uh, I was I had four pars in a row, and then it got got thunderstorm and rained on. So I was trying to, I was going to fight the lightning, but I decided not to. Is there one guy on your team that's decidedly the best golfer? Well, we lost the best, uh, from what I understand. Nyquist is the best. So Mantha told me no, he's the best. So I guess we'll see. <laughs>